Hello friends, today is Tuesday, April the 7th. It is the 36th day of Lent. This week is Holy Week. We only have a few more days of Lent and we're going to be focusing on the passion and death of Jesus Christ this, this week. Have you ever taken a shortcut? You know when my students are running a lap and they want to cut the corners and so they get back faster than everybody else because they took a shortcut they didn't follow directions and touch the corners and so since I'm watching them I say well you know what since you took a shortcut and you didn't follow directions you get to run one more lap and they complain oh man oh no what well, their shortcut didn't help them, did it? It actually added more time to them. Remember the story of the three little pigs? And the first little pig built a house out of hay because he didn't want to mess around with it. He didn't want to take the time. He didn't want to mess with it. So he built a house of hay. What happened to it? Well, the wolf blew it right down. The second pig built a house out of sticks. That was easy for him. He thought it wouldn't take him that much time. So he built a house of sticks. It was okay for him. It, it was it was uh, a good house for him, he thought, until the wolf came around. And what happened? The wolf blew it down. Well, the third pig, he didn't take any shortcuts. He worked really, really hard, didn't he? And he took his time. He did the hard work. And he built a house out of bricks. And when the wolf came around, came around, what happened to that house? It stood up. The wolf couldn't blow it down, could he? Because he worked hard. And he did his best. And it was the best house he could build. He didn't try to take a shortcut and just be lazy about it. St. Teresa of Avila tells us, For even though we already know that God is present in all we do, our nature is such that we neglect to think of this. Now we know God's there. So why do we still take a shortcut? We know he's watching. Why do we still take a shortcut? We don't want to think about it. We don't want to think that, oh, he's always watching. Oh, he knows what I'm doing right now. We just refuse to think about that. So let's remember, God is there. God is watching us. He's seeing if we're doing our best work or if we're just trying to take shortcuts and do the fast way out. So today, fast from shortcuts and feast on a job well done. You will feel a lot better about a job well done than about taking a shortcut. Today, why don't you tell someone why you are proud of them? Talk to a brother or a sister, a mom or a dad, a grandma or a grandpa. Maybe grandpa was in the military and you're really proud of him, call him up on the phone and tell him that you're proud of him. Maybe mom is working, working so hard. Well, call up mom and tell mom that you are very proud of her. Tell someone why you are proud of them. You want to call your teacher? You want to call your friends? Something they did? Something you noticed? And tell them why you are proud of them. And I know that I am very proud of you and all the hard work that you have done. Have a great Tuesday.